Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this caterpillar uploaded by David Montes, which is also a fellow 3D printing YouTuber. And the cool thing about this uh, STL is that this model was made on a VR headset. So that's always interesting and fun. Technology definitely has advanced quite a bit in the past few uh, decades. Now, we look at the description down here and he says that he printed at a 0.1 millimeter layer height and that no supports are required. So we'll definitely keep all these settings in mind when we slice the actual model. So once you're ready to download, just click on this download button here. You should be given this single STL. And now all I have to do is click and hold on the STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice. Once the model has finished loading in, you should be greeted by this caterpillar. First things first, we're gonna select the layer height. In order to do that, you're gonna click on this button right up here. Now the developer used a layer height of 0.1 millimeters, but I am going to use a layer height of only 0.28 millimeters, which is the lowest quality. And the only reason I'm doing that is because this model is pretty big and does not have any uh, small details in it. So you should be more than fine with a uh, higher thickness layer height. You can select whatever layer height you want, but if you want it to print really fast and uh, not have any issues and 0.2 millimeters is more than fine. So click on that. Settings wise, the developer said no supports and nothing else, meaning we really don't have to change anything else. So we can just go through the list. Infill we'll keep at whatever it is, which is 20% is usually the default. Supports, developer said no, so no need for support. Build plate adhesion, if you look at the bottom, there's a lot of uh, direct contact from the model onto the build plate and it's completely flat so no build pit adhesion so we're set on everything all i have to do now is click on slice and give it a few seconds to slice up once it's finished slicing you should be given a time estimate of roughly seven hours and 42 minutes but that number will depend on your printer as well as the settings you use and you'll also be given a estimated filament usage of 82 grams and we always preview the print by clicking the preview button and take a look around the model, see if anything weird or funky is going on. And everything looks perfectly normal, so we are set to save the file and send it over to the printer for printing. Here's the model straight off the build plate. Everything looks pretty good as it is right now, but you could clean up the little ears up there as there's a little bit of stringing. Here's the cleaned up model, which stands at roughly 20 centimeters. Everything printed off perfectly and there are no defects whatsoever. There's not too many statue STLs that I can find out there, so I really appreciate this one, especially since the developer handcrafted it using a VR headset, which is pretty cool. In conclusion, this is a very beautiful model that should prove no hassle to any beginner printer.